there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel so finally we do have kindred deep dive as well and it's time to jump in it he certainly looks nightmarish which kind of makes me like him actually but um in all seriousness he definitely has all the qualities to be also a nightmare of a defender right so uh besides having very cool animations namely special 3 one uh he comes in the game with a ton of immunities so they mean to poison incinerate heal block infuriate and intimidate effect uh which compromises quite a long list so being immune to poison he could potentially be somewhat recoil friendly champion as well especially considering the fact that he does have some regeneration mechanic in him as well but yeah immunity to heal block infuriate intimidate all that other stuff I think in his case will largely function as a defensive utility as in like he's going to be a champion that you cannot archangel he's going to be a champion that you have to use no flames if you can use torch for and he's definitely going to be one of the harder to deal with champions in my opinion i think the only thing that's missing from his kit there is well they could have just made him immune to count or something all right so we have centipede strikes Inflict atrophy passive, reducing the duration of any new buffs by 30%, max tax 3. And uh, it's quite easy by the looks of it to maintain that. So he will have that uh, mojo buff duration reduction, which I think is his biggest appeal offensively. I actually do want to kind of draw quite a lot of parallels with him because I do think, just like Mojo, he's going to be primarily used as a defender and then situationally in some of the better matchups as an attacker because i think unless there will be plenty of expiring buffs involved he did appear to be on the slower side of the champions he has a ton of defensive qualities and i think that yes offensively you will be able to benefit from him to a decent degree if there are buffs that are timed involved in the fight just like with many other mystic champions i do however like that we are getting more champions that can force quicker buff expiry, expiry on opponents expiration because that method bypasses you know stuff where champions are immune to neutralize champions are punished for nullifying and so on and so forth because you're effectively not doing anything there are no nodes that punish you for expiring buff opponents buffs quicker or making opponents immune opponents immune to it effectively uh, there are ways how to like work against it with increased buff duration because that kind of like gets applied afterwards but in general i do really like the fact that he can force on his buffs to expire quicker and uh yeah there we go his centipede strikes are uh, medium attack spotlight attack heavy attack and some hits on his special attack so typically you will have your three atrophy passives on the opponent significantly reducing their buff duration now with that we're gonna go and take a look at his infestation charges opponent gains basically these every 2.5 seconds every time contact is made if you use a special attack intercept on him then there's a whole bunch of 10 charges so do not intercept this guy with special attacks is the main takeaway there and uh, there is a similar way how to pause them um, and that is effectively the same as with spot when you punish his special attack then you pause infestation charge build up for eight seconds by any kind of method and if you use spider verse hero then you pause it by 14 seconds this alone i think in most fights by the looks of it could not be enough to work around his infestation charges because they do appear to be building up very quickly and uh that is a problem because then <laughs> once you do get to 50 infestation charges his nightmare outbreak starts and it lasts 18 seconds so it is something that lasts a very 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 long time and with his now nightmare outbreak when you're close to him you're going to be inflicted with degeneration he's going to start to regen and uh that's going to be giving you quite a lot of problems so here we have the nightmare outbreak mechanic which is going to be basically something similar to mojo's aura in a sense but nearby opponents are inflicted with degeneration passive every 0.55 seconds so it's happening very very quick each dealing 406 direct damage per second uh, scaling with base attack only max stacks five and once the opponent's out of range 
you lose one degeneration stack every two seconds. So they are built up very quickly, but you can also get rid of them very quickly. Whilst Kindred's personal degeneration effects are on the opponent, Kindred re regen 0.75% of missing health over half a second. So this region is going to get significantly stronger as the fight progresses as you're taking Kindred down. Inflicting five or more infestation charges at once by landing special attacks inflicts instant degenerations, dealing bursts of damage. So that's an offensive burst ability that he has per passive degen as well. So you will want to have five of these on the opponent. There is a way to lock these in, kind of like with Omega Red, where you build up your death spores, and with Omega Red, you drop a heavy attack that locks in your spores. With Kindred, you need to drop your level one that inflicts a relatively long-lasting active degen debuff, which basically locks in and prevents you from losing these passive degens when you are out of the range from the opponent. So that level one is going to be quite important here to maintain your five degen stacks on the opponents because against vast, vast majority of the champions, obviously, you cannot stay close to them forever. Most special attacks force you out of the range. Here, uh, a failed screenshot, but we have the Dread Aura. The Dread Aura is definitely going to be some annoying mechanic that has some potentially cool uses too. Charging Heavy Attack consumes 30% of a bar of power to activate Dread Aura for 6 seconds. Kindred fights more aggressively while Dread Aura is active, and it's not affected by ability accuracy. As a defender, every 25% max health Kindred loses, Dread Aura triggers at no power cost Kindred. So this is going to be a problem because that he also goes stun immune. So he's going to be immediately trickier to fight whenever you push him past increments of 25%. And also, whilst Dread Aura is active, he starts inflicting many, many more charges uh, faster on you. As we can see that instead of 2.5 2 seconds, 0 0.75 seconds. So it's like three times faster these charges are inflicted. And any amount of these charges is doubled. This is exactly why I said I don't think you will be able to effectively finish a fight against Kindred without him triggering his Nightmare Infestation. Because if you fight against him, you can get him down 75%. He's going to enter his Dread Aura. And, you know, it's not going to be pretty. Not going to be pretty because you're going to gain all those charges on you very, very, very quickly. <laughs> and uh, we kind of covered this part of the screenshot. Uh, with level 1, as I said, he locks in passive degens. And with level 2, he also has access to power steal from the opponent if you activate that level 2 whilst you have your aura active. So that will help him be very aggressive, even if opponent is at 3 bars of power. You can throw your level 2 and you will be power stealing from the opponent and obviously dealing all your degen damage and everything. Meanwhile, as you are healing as well. So level 2 will likely be quite useful as a form of power control as well because you yeah you drain opponent's power and you gain whatever power you stole from the opponent times i think it's 150 percent and uh, during that single level two you can basically gain a full bar of power i believe and then as a fully complete design of him as a defender level three perfectly complements it because his level three is very cool looking, but it's very, very simple. At level 3, gains a ton of attack. Now, it will be interesting to see how powerful that, you know, let's say, get going to special 3 and dropping a special 3 on opponent is going to be offensively. You know, whether it is going to have some sort of havoc type of implications where you can nuke down most opponents with level 3, thus giving him some more offensive utility. But... I think the entire point here is that if you push Kindred to three bars of power, you're dead. Like, because obviously that is a big problem with Mystic characters, where quite frequently they do get to level three, and then we have a whole bunch of Mystics, let's say like Sasquatch, who's level three, just doesn't really hurt that much. Yes, it wastes the time. Yes, it obviously does damage, but you're not automatically KO'd if a Sasquatch level three is you. Well, with this guy, you probably will be, because he can gain up to extra 15k attack on a level three, and that will definitely hurt. Definitely want to see also, again, how potent that level 3 is going to be using him as an offensive champion. Would be kind of his saving grace, but we'll see.
uh, well, when I say saving grace, that's obviously far too early to determine whether he's going to be capable enough attacker. So do not jump to any conclusions. I am certainly trying not to. But as as of right now, I'm definitely leaning into the direction of Kindred's going to be a very frustrating champion to fight against. And, and some health loss is basically probably going to be inevitable. Unless you're using something that's, you know, Mr. Negative that deals with degeneration or something. Right, so, his uh, SIG ability is going to amp up on his defense, basically. Well, the first point is useful offensively, increased degeneration potency based on missing health. But obviously, in vast majority of situations, you hope that you don't have much missing health if you're using him offensively. So even this degen potency increase is largely tuned as a defensive ability, given the fact that you probably will not be able to escape taking some degen damage. And yes, the less health he has, the more potent degen, the more it's going to hurt. Once per fight at 5% health, inflict root passive for 6 seconds. 6 seconds is a very long time for a root, by the way. If triggered during an opponent's special attack, this root triggers when the special attack ends. Hindred is prevented from being knocked out while this root passive is active or attempting to activate. Upon activating this ability, uh, activate Dread Aura at no power cost if at above 30 infestation charges inflict Nightmare Outbreak as well. So, so, so many people are going to die because of it. I can guarantee you. So, just imagine you're about to finish off a very annoying degen based Mystic Champion trying to avoid all the Mystic Dispersion traps and everything else. And as you're knocking him out, not only he doesn't die for 6 seconds, so that's, you know, a good stall time, you, you can't run away from him. You just need to stand there and try and parry your decks. But you can't even land a parry because of his Dread Aura. So he's stun immune for those full six seconds. And you're probably in your, well, Nightmare Outbreak. And that means that when he's close to you, you will be suffering from DJ. And you can't get away from him. Because you're rooted. So you can't parry him, you can't stun him, you can't really do anything to him. I think the only option there is, you know, uh, I, I think you escape this root mechanic if you have a special attack. So I think that's going to be kind of like a very delicate timing situation where you get him to 5% health, you get rooted, and you basically immediately throw a special attack to break down that root. And I suppose at that point you can try and knock him out. But this will definitely patch so, so many people and get them KO'd. We can see a ton of fights where Kindred's at 5% health and the opponent gets KO'd. For sure. At the moment, he does seem like a defensive nightmare with limited use offensively. Seems very, very scary to deal with. Obviously, that could be wrong. Like, we all remember a lot of champions that initially appeared that they will be very, very tough defenders, and then it turns out it's not too bad. And then vice versa, champions that seem that they shouldn't be tough defenders, but they turn out to be. You know, when Kitty was coming out, it did seem like it would be very hard to deal with Kitty on defense. And yes, she is a solid Lions War defender, but nowhere near as dangerous as she appeared. Now, with Kindred... I do think quite a lot will depend on his stats as well, his health pool and everything else, but he's definitely designed in a way where there are several things that can easily catch you off guard. And obviously, there's also a lot of unavoidable damage potential. So it truly will be interesting to see how exactly potent he's going to be on defense. Because, well, I'm not going to lie, he does seem scary to me. Let me know what you guys think, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. Bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have all the information about...